Hi everyone. On my drive into work this morning, I saw the first sign of spring, a blooming forsythia plant. And boy, do I love seeing that. It is a sign of hope each year for me. And how serendipitous it was that I saw a blooming forsythia plant the morning that I'm recording this. The morning I'm being asked to reflect on what happened a year ago. Exactly a year ago, March 16th, 2020, Milford Public Schools went to a distance learning environment in response to the pandemic. I have to be honest, personally and professionally, I was struck with a lot of fear. I wasn't sure what, what was to come. But what got me through, what got us through, I know is not the fear, but the holding on to hope. This last year has been filled with great loss and pain in so many of our lives. I know that. But today, here we are, we stand together as a school community. We stand together as Milford Public Schools, having conquered so much, holding one another up, rising together through the hurt and the fear, holding on to hope. For all of that, I am grateful. We don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we face challenges. Um, even though there are discouraging times, um, there are bright spots. Distance learning has been hard, but I made it through. It's been really beneficial to me learning to persevere in the face of adversity and move on. This has been very difficult, but we're going to get through it and become closer uh, as a family, as a community. The most valuable lessons aren't taught, they're experienced. I've learned to be more accepting of the little things in life because knowing that my family and my loved ones are safe and healthy, that's the most important stuff. During the past year, I have learned school stuff made me like fractions, but I have also learned a lot about myself, like how I could get through this year um, even, even if it may be hard. So, um, lessons learned from COVID, definitely to spend time with family, check in on your friends, um, check in on your strong friends specifically, um, to make sure that you keep a sense of community because everyone is obviously going through the same thing and just to be there for each other. I learned that FaceTime is very useful and you can see people that you haven't seen due to COVID. Some great things that I've realized since March is that anything can change. And I've been able to see through the power of people wanting to put things together and through the true power of teamwork that anything is possible. During the past year, I have learned that together, my family is stronger than I ever thought possible. Together, we acquired the skills to work from home, learn from home, and live together at home. There were plenty of days that it wasn't easy, but there were plenty of days that it just clicked and we celebrated those days because they reminded us that better days are coming. Um, what I've learned this year in the pandemic is that I've become better with the Chromebook. I've become more flexible and let the kids express their emotions because they will feel better afterwards. Through the eyes of gratitude, everything is a miracle. I'm grateful for my family because they're always there to help out. Uh, one thing I'm grateful for, especially during a pandemic, is the amount of sacrifices the people around me have made, uh, especially since like hard times that we've been through. It's just really, pre it's really nice to, uh, it's really nice to acknowledge that people will sacrifice a lot and give up a lot for me. Uh, so over the past year, I've learned more about um, how to be grateful for the people that are in my life and the time that I spend with them and how important it is to interact with them and show them that I care about them. Since the pandemic began, I have been so grateful for the healthcare professionals that go to work every day fighting the virus and saving lives. Thank you Milford Public Schools for distributing these Chromebooks because it really helped us during this time. During the pandemic, we've been able to play outside a lot more. Throughout this pandemic, um, 
I'm very grateful for my parents because without them, I simply wouldn't have survived this entire thing. I've tried to stay grounded in gratitude, knowing that I really do have a lot to be grateful for despite all of the challenges I faced. During the past year, I've been so grateful to have the opportunity to reconnect with nature. So, as we say goodbye to the past year, remember, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Together, we are better. Thank you so much and stay safe. Stay safe and bye. We made it. Take care. Stay strong, Milton. We made it through the year. And this is what makes us Milford Strong. Take good care.